Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, my name is Chelsea and this reading we are going to find out what's coming up for you within 48 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 16th of March 2023, time here in Genoa, Italy is 2.07pm. Uh, Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Fire Signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same fire sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please to show me for leo aries and sagittarius what's coming up for them within 48 hours please bear in mind that there will be a lot of details in this reading may not resonate with you may not come true for all, I mean, all of it from the beginning till the end, okay? Maybe just one or two or more, who knows? <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm still having a bit of a sore throat, so please bear with me. And if the screen moves sideways, <laughs> it moves, it's because I'm on a boat right now, okay? We got the judgment at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Oh, that's good. We've got the star here. This is definitely good news. This indicates renewal, recovering from something. Okay, for some of you, it could be from sickness. You will be recovering within 40 hours. 48 hours or longer. Or it could be someone very close to you. <clears throat> if you don't have somebody... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Somebody very close to you who, who is sick, you may hear that they are feeling much better. Um, the star also can indicate some sort of recognition. For some of you, you're going to be recognized and praised by a boss, okay? If you do work for somebody, okay, the emperor here, or recognized for a job well done, by people by people in general especially if you have online business you may be hearing very good positive reviews within 48 hours or longer unless you do work for somebody then i see you being praised or complimented by a boss by your boss a manager okay and the star indicates healing and recovery. So right next to it is four pentacles, ace of pentacles in reverse, and the ten of swords. Some of you, it's you um, doing better financially. You feel like, ah, finally I have a little bit more money to eat or to save, okay? Or to buy something, shopping. Because again, the star and the emperor, these two are major kana. Same goes to the judgment. And the sun in my verse. So these two are actually really good. But the sun here in my verse, it feels like maybe if you've been feeling really negative, you if you haven't been feeling good, it could be due to, again, you being sick. Or just generally, okay? Emotional, emotionally, mentally, it could be physically, monetarily. But whatever the case is, I see you've with a star again the emperor finally going to feel much more in charge of the situation um finally recovering from any sorts of sicknesses or illnesses or misfortune okay or recovering financially as well nine of cups here your wish is going to come true and then we've got the nine of cups not a, not a cups, there's one cup and nine of cups, there's nine. Nine plus one is ten. So something that is going to make you feel so, so, so happy. You've got two cards that indicates wish fulfillment. That means like your wish coming true. So something that you've been wishing for, um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, if, if you've been wishing for something to happen, it's going to happen, okay? Just make sure that within 48 hours or longer, don't wish anything ill, okay? Don't manifest something bad. I know this, nobody's, nobody wants to manifest anything bad. 
for themselves, to themselves. But sometimes, you know, there's negative talks, you know, that um, we subconsciously say to ourselves um, because of pessimism with the sun here in our verse, right? This indicates pessimism. So spirits could be uh, warning you not to be pessimistic within 48 hours or longer. Try to be positive. Keep saying good things. Keep expecting good things to happen to you. And then it's going to happen, okay? So, but Ten of Swords here looks a little bit scary. So make sure you don't say it. I have a friend who likes to say, oh, I'm just unlucky. Oh, I'm just unlucky. He likes to say that all the time. And every time he says that, I will tell him, do not say that word unlucky. Don't tell, don't, don't keep repeating that about you being unlucky because that's just gonna be it you're just gonna manifest bad luck <laughs> to yourself for yourself so d don't don't say things like that okay within 40 hours eight hours or longer look in the mirror and say you're looking good today today you're feeling good all that even if you don't feel good say that you feel good whatever that you want to manifest it shows that it's gonna happen with a star here but you might not, for some of you, you might have this, that's why the sun in one verse, you might keep thinking about something negative. So avoid that, okay? Avoid that. Because if you avoid thinking negatively or feeling negatively, you are going to get actually what you want, which is something that is supposed to be positive, obviously. <laughs> but you're going to get something that, you don't want either if you keep talking about example, like what I said about my friend. He keeps talking about how he's so unlucky, right? So, okay, a little bit of a story time. So a friend of mine, a friend of mine, he was in Bali and then he was riding a bike and he dropped his wallet, right? He dropped his wallet and he lost the cash in the wallet. Uh, and that was like I don't know quite quite a big amount of money not 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 a lot a lot like too much not everything that he's got so he said oh I'm just so unlucky he said that I said did you lose anything else and he said um, oh luckily he, he didn't say luckily he said I still have my cards which I left it in my hotel room and things like that so I was like so lucky you that was when I said lucky you you didn't bring those um credit cards with you or even his license and all these identification cards he left it his passport everything he left it in the hotel so I was like to me the way I see things this is lucky you know luckily he only lost the cash which you know you can always make back the money um and luckily, he didn't get into an accident. Um, and luckily, he didn't lose his passport. That means he could still go back to his country and still, you know, um, fly home. Where is he from again? From Sweden, yeah. So, so this is the difference, right? People, when small little things happen to you, don't look at it as you being unlucky. Think of other things that you still have and you will feel much more grateful and lucky. So I feel like this this has something to do with that, okay, uh, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you're going to feel like, if you feel within 48 hours or longer, if you keep telling yourself that you're lucky and everything is going to turn out fine, it is going to turn out fine, okay? Judgment here can be an indication of you being judged or you're going to be judging people. Um, or you're going to be receiving a phone call, okay? I feel like it's a good phone call because we've got the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups here and the Star again. These are the positive cards. Some good news I feel in regards to love. You may hear from somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Somebody you do care for, but maybe you haven't been speaking to this person in a while. Also, maybe this is someone who has made you a little bit unhappy in the past, Ten of Swords. Some of you may have felt kind of betrayed by this person or both of you may have had a separation and ending. You may hear from this person. This person might reach out to you. I think you're going to be happy to hear from them. But Four of Pentacles feels like you might be a little bit guarded. 
um, because this person has heard you before, right? Nine of Wands here in my first. So Four of Cups, some of you might just ignore them, ignore their messages or ignore their calls. But it's really up to you, okay? It's free will. And Ace of Pentacles here in my verse. This could be from someone who may have rejected you or you may have rejected them. The connection may have looked like it was going somewhere, but it didn't take off. Maybe this person wants to go through healing and recovery with you, with the star. Some of you, maybe this is someone that you've been wondering how they've been doing. Are they ever going to reach out? Maybe this person is going to reach out. But it's funny thing is when this person reaches out to you you may have a little bit of a cold feet right this could be something that you've been wanting uh, you want to hear from this person but then when they do reach out to you it might feel a little bit more reserved with the idea of uh, reciprocating okay um, anyway Leo Aries and Sagittarius this is your reading your 48 hour predict, uh, prediction reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos. And also feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot which is my original channel. I post individual sign readings and collective readings with different topics and different questions. I mainly post a lot on this channel. And also my newest channel is Chelsea Tarot 2.0. This channel, uh, on this channel, I only post individual sign readings. Yeah. Anyway, take care. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.